Halloween is over, so why are disguises making a comeback? Thank President Trump for his voter fraud theory about how some people vote more than once. In the president's exact words, sometimes they go to their car, put on a different hat, put on a different shirt, come in and vote again. Samantha B. likewise donned a disguise on my way to vote again. The actor who played Luke Skywalker tweeted his costumes for casting multiple ballots. There were dogs in disguise, cats in disguise. I voted last week as myself, and I'm going to vote this week as Bette Midler. <laughs> the president's fraud theory reminded some of when then Mets manager Bobby Valentine got ejected from a game, then snuck back into the dugout in disguise, changing his hat and shirt, applying the kind of stickers and you put it underneath your eyes in a sunny day, right? And I pulled one of them off and I put it over here. And I pulled another one off and I put it over here. I looked in the mirror, I looked at them, they said, they'll never know! Valentine was famously nabbed on camera. Whoopi Goldberg confessed to casting multiple ballots. Last week this was me at the midterms. And then I voted the second time. Yes, I voted a third time, too. Go ahead, show. <laughs> it's enough to make you paranoid. Is this the real Donald Trump? Or someone pretending to be Donald Trump so he can vote twice? But if you do wear a disguise, make sure it doesn't interfere with your ability to read your fraudulent ballot. What's the last line? Genimo, CNN, New York.